Hello guys, I get many mails and requests to do more Blender modeling tips for absolute beginners. So today we are going to create this part here, this mesh. And yes, for most of you it is simple to create, but not for beginners. Ok, so we open Blender 2.9, we see the default cube and the camera, we can remove the camera here, select it and press the Del key. In the lower right hand corner you see the keys that I'm pressing and the mouse events. And in the toolbar I have the snapping set to increment, which means that we are snapping to the grid. But I'll come back to this in a moment. Ok, now I'm rotating the viewport by holding the middle mouse button pressed and I press the ALT key and move the mouse and then I can snap the view. In this case to front or to graphic. When I press SHIFT and the middle mouse button and move, then I can pan the view. Ok, now I left click to select the cube and I'm in object mode where I can't edit the mesh. So change here to the edit mode in which we have tools to transform and edit the mesh. The first one that I want to show you is the move tool. You find the tools here on the left side, the move tool is this one and we can move the mesh now by dragging the gizmo. But I hold the control key pressed so that I can snap the mesh to the grid. Snapping is set to increment, so we are snapping to the grid. Now the mesh is located here and I want to increase the scale, so I select the scale tool and I can scale the mesh now here along an axis. Now scale along the x axis and again I hold the control key pressed, so again I snap to the grid. Ok, now we have a kind of box, but I want to decrease the scale along the Y axis, so keep the scale tool active and scale the mesh down along the Y axis. Again I hold the control key pressed, so that we can snap to the grid. Ok, now let's say that's a kind of wall. And now I want to cut a rectangular hole into it, for example to create a window. So we have to add geometry to the mesh. And we can do this by adding a so-called edge loop by pressing CTRL and the R key. When you hover near this edge, you're going to create a vertical edge loop and a horizontal for this one. So you're inserting edge loops for the appropriate edges and when you move the mouse wheel slightly, you can change the number of edge loops that you're going to insert. I'm adding now two of them and then I move the mouse after clicking to define the location for these edge loops to be inserted. Now click again and the edge loops are added. Ok, nice, but now let's say I want to bring the edge loops more together after adding these. I select the scale tool and with the edge loops selected I scale along the x axis and bring them more together. Alright, but for adding a window, I need two more edge loops. So press CTRL and the R key like before. But this time I add two horizontal edge loops. So move the mouse wheel, then click. Then move slightly upwards to position the edge loops. And now I want to cut a hole into the mesh to create a window. What I have to do is to select so called faces, this one and this one on the other side. So I switch here in the toolbar to face selection, this icon here, and then I select first this face, just left click, and I hold the shift key down so that I can select this face as well, I extend the selection. And then I right click and get the face context menu because I have face selection enabled. And here find the option Bridge Faces. And after selecting it you see the faces are bridged, the hole for the window is cut into the mesh. And you see you have to know quite a few things to do this simple beginner modeling task. Ok, I want to scale down the wall a bit. So I press the A key to select all the faces and then I select the scale tool again. And then I drag the gizmo for the Y axis to scale it down. Yeah, this looks nice. Ok, but now let's suppose we want to have this window on the other side as well. So we have to symmetrize the mesh, the positive x-axis to the negative x-axis. So press A again to select the mesh. And then I open here the mesh menu and find the option symmetrize. When I press it, I don't get the result that I was going for. But when you open here the Symmetrize panel, you see that you can define a direction. 
The default direction is minus x to x, but we want it to have the opposite. We want to symmetrize plus x to minus x. But that's not a problem, you can change it. We select direction plus x to minus x. And then we get the desired result. Okay, my goal was to create a very simple basic beginner tutorial for modeling with Blender. Please guys let me know if this was understandable for you, if it is too fast, too slow, I'm really excited to hear that. Support me by being my patron or join here as a member on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, add your comments below the video and I'll see you in the next one here on JNM.